Get down on the floor. Now what you gonna do, man? What you doing, man? Man, I got nothing on me, man. I'm playing, nigga. Say, man, what the fuck, man? She on me, don't like her. Pass it the gang, I bet they pipe her. Good life, I live excited. Hogs his chest, leave his ass on fire. Get back, gang, we did that. Win with the chit chat, come with your leg back. Be the pussy abusive, Ike. Street nigga don't buy in the hype. Slab, walk up, toe up. Fuck my ops, it'll go up. Shot from the head to the flow up. Chest, lungs, throw up. SIT track, ho. So it's got the wheel, left, right, snatch off. Being with a gun, no run. Ricky and nigga, Mac Taz, back off. I ain't trying to talk, bro, bad. The bitch so sneaky and secretive. Like a lawyer, but I know who she creeping with. Always pressing me like you an eating dick. And got tap games, I delete the bitch. Before I beat a bitch, I leave a bitch. Social media bitch, I always tweet this shit. If you don't feel love, what you stay for? She got my heart, but I promise what I'm waiting for. My feelings slide like a skateboard. She got hey, what's up, man? Welcome back to Love City TV, man. We're here with another new artist from our... From the west side, man, you want to introduce yourself to the people? I'm big top. Close to one, say, now I'm big out. It's top, though. So, what's up, top, man? You know, glad you was able to come through tonight, man, and, you know, come kick it with us. So, I mean, let's start off by talking about, like, uh, you know, what made you want to start doing music? How you get in, How you get into doing music? Uh, see, all my homies are already doing music. And then I had went to jail when I was, like, 16. I went to Jeff like seven armed robberies, straight armed robberies, and I was fighting juvenile life. Hold on, hold on. You, how many armed robberies, bro? Like <laughs> seven? Seven armed robberies. Damn. All right. What so happened? I, so I went to Jeff like seven armed robberies when I was 16, then I was fighting juvenile life. And then everybody in jail was rapping already when I came in because they was already in there. So I'm like, damn. It's boring as hell. Everybody over in the group, they beating and rapping and shit. I don't really know how to rap like that. So I'm fucking let me start trying to rap. Then that's just where everybody doing jail. Everybody in jail just rap about their pain, how motherfuckers turn their back on them while they in there and that. I'm like, shit, I got some shit to say too. So I just started rapping, you feel me? Yeah. And ever since then, I've been doing it every day. So that got me away from being in jail because I just float away to my raps and shit. Then that was how I cope, you feel me? So I just been doing it ever since. So when was the moment where you felt like you can really like be an artist? Was it like, was it a certain moment or maybe a certain song you wrote? You're like, damn. I probably could really do this. Because, you know, every, when everybody starts, it's kind of like awkward, right? Yeah, I was trying, I was, it, trying yeah. to find your voice, you know? So. Yeah, yeah. And that took me, it took me a long time. Like, it took me a long time. I just kept doing it, though, because I had nothing to do anyway. So I just kept doing it. Then I just came. Matter of fact, I met it. Matter of fact, I had stopped. I got out. Then I called a county case. Then I called a county case. Then I went to the, I started rapping in the county. Then I went to the joint. That's when I did. I went to Stavia. I was in a in Stavia. I was in a 21 day. They had me in a 23 and one for a week. So we came out once a week, an hour a week. I mean, yeah, an hour a week for for a big shower. I just got an hour raw ass song. I'm like, fuck. I'm gonna call my mama. So as soon as I got my call, I call my mama. I'm on my list to this. She damn baby. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't know you had it in. She said I ain't gonna lie. The other shit one, it wasn't it. But this <laughs> this right here, it. So mom kept it real. She said the yeah, other shit one. She said the other shit wasn't it. She like, but this one it right here. She said, I ain't know you had it in you. Then after I left Stateville, I went to my my um I went to my my joint where I was gonna stay. I went to Vandalia. So I went down to the Vandalia. I was on, on intake and I made another raw ass song. And I put my whole life story in there, and that was the one. Yeah, but like, yeah, that's it, shorty. Yes, it's been doing since. I I talked to artists before, right? And that ended up getting like locked up or whatever. And uh and they tell me like they couldn't even write when they was locked up because it was just no motivation. Like it was just yeah. like it was so depressing in there that they yeah. couldn't even like write. So how how did you deal with that? Like how did how did you find motivation? Cause like, like inspiration, like even writing there. Like I, I was always good with my words. I was like writing and shit like that. And me, like I'm I'm a loner. Like it'd be cool being around people, but I don't like being around people too long. Cause shit. So the only thing I could do is write. And then it's like being a group with niggas. They be lying and shit. This nigga crazy, he just be lying. He got a he got he a habitual liar. He just be lying. Then everybody wanna talk about what they was doing. I'm like, that shit only I'm trying to get out this motherfucker. Like y'all just trying to like just what they was doing, like I don't like being a, my mind is way different. So I just like only thing I can do is write. It's funny you say that because uh, you know, I was locked up too. You know, I did 10 years in the feds. Yeah. And it's one of the guys I was locked up with, he out here doing a podcast now about, you know, formerly incarcerated people that got like started businesses and uh 
a lot of the stuff about me he never knew. He's like, I never knew you did that, and I was on, the, I was in the, in the joint with you, and right. you know, we're <clears throat> traveling the joint about yeah, anything. Fast, fast. And just like what you said, like I didn't like talking about it yeah. because a lot of the stuff that I did, people might even think I was lying. You're right. So it's like, and it didn't matter. Yeah. You know, so it's like uh-huh. that's just the past. Right. So I definitely feel you coming from. Yeah, that you just said right on the head, just like that. Yeah, but because because like I I told. People that don't know, it's like in there, you can be anything. Anything. You can be the biggest drug lord, the biggest killer, like, no, because nobody really knows yeah, you. One one dude tell me like this. He a black lighted cage from over east. He got, he, you know, with grills in his mouth and shit. He like, they call me Lil B because they be on my neck and shit. You know, I just be in that bitch working out and I be pacing around just, they be like, this little motherfucker crazy. But he be like, I fuck with you, Lil B. I mean, yeah, he come to my door and shit. I'm in my room and shit. I be hating that shit. They be coming to your check, trying to talk and shit. He be like, he like me, you like me. I'm like, yeah, why you say that? He talking about you TTG, what that is. You trained to go. <laughs> so he telling me about his BM and shit. He, man, she laughed me, man, woo, woo, But he's claiming he got all this money, 40,000, but yo, bond five, and you still in here. So I'm like, this shit ain't adding up to me, man. <laughs> the you math be- don't add up. And you begging me for noodles and shit, you feel me? So I'm like, so he get that, yeah, little B, I, I left the um, money. I taped it under, under the bathroom seat. Now this bathroom sink, now this is my house. My baby mama got her own house with my kids, but this is my house. Yeah, I tell her where my key at. She go to my crib, and I tell her get the money to pay her rent. I tell her get four thousand dollars. She take all the money. She ain't answering the phone. <laughs> shit like that. That's why I don't talk yeah, to people. You yeah, feel that shit like, used to be like, almost entertaining sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I be like, yeah, that's right. What happened, man? <laughs> yeah, you just keep going with a yeah, gas in the muscle. Yeah. So you keep going. You know, fast forward now. You know, you finally back home. Yeah. You you got all these raw ass songs that you wrote. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how how did that transition into actually like going in the stew and doing something? Um, when I got out of Juvenile, I, I didn't pursue my music no more once I got out. Because I couldn't find no studio, man. And I couldn't find no camera, man. So I stopped. I went back to jail again. I got out. And then that's, at that point, that's when I tried to do it. So I, like, because I went to jail like three more times before I tried to do it. So when I came on this time, I told my mama and everybody what I was going to do. And this time I wrote it in my book. I'm like, this is what I'm going to do. I came home. First three days, I went to the studio. And I had my, my best friend. He in the feds right now. You feel me? My best friend, Big Ed, he in the feds. He um, took me to one of his studio men that he used to go to school with. It was a, it wasn't shit, you know. It was like, it was the, it was a classroom, room, but it's just for me to get that feeling. See how I sound? I, I did that. I'm um, yeah, that's it. And then, like, so I, how was that listening to yourself for the first time? Like being able to play something back and listening to yourself. What that feel like? I mean, that was my first time ever in the studio. So he like, um, can you hear yourself? I'm like, yeah, I can hear myself. As soon as I heard myself back, I'm like. That bitch like sent a whole shock to my body. I'm like, damn, this is it right here. I ain't never felt that feeling before. So it was a good feeling. Yeah, it's a good feeling. But you never get that feeling again after the first time, though. Because I always look for that same feeling. <laughs> like a crack and looking for that first half. <laughs> Can never get it back again, though. So when you come up with a song, like what's that process like? Do you like do you hear something? Do you see something? Like what motivates you? What inspires you to make to like come up with a certain song? Um, it could be anything. It could be like. Say I'm right here, we just sitting here, and somebody just say something, somebody do something. I'll be like, go right to my notes, put it in my song. I just put, put, it, put it in the notes, and then later on, I'll make a song like about that, or I'll put it in the song. Or anything that I see happen that I've been through before, or I hear it in the song, like another, hear another artist and stuff like that, that's when I like, it just gave me an idea to make a song. So like, hearing things motivate me, seeing anything that go on, like anything. Just, so how long, how long has it been since you came home? Um, I came home July 22nd, July, 20, July 22nd, 2020. So I've been home. So in the middle of the pandemic. Yeah. What yeah, was right. that like? You came I mean, out from one lockdown to another kind of Hey, lockdown. I thought the world was in there, man. <laughs> then they doing all that looting and shit I'm seeing on the news. I'm like, man, it's crazy. Oh, so you like, came home during the George Floyd I came, stuff. Right after, um, right after George Floyd died. I came home right after that. I'm like, then they was looting this shit. Like right after I came home, when I'm seeing that shit on the news, I'm like, boy, it's crazy out there. So, so what was that like? <clears throat> did you like? There was there any any part of you that was like, man, I gotta get out there. You know, like man. everybody else out there, yeah. like I need, to, I need to go out there. Like I'm like this history, and I'm missing it. Like this this some one uh, one in a hundred years type shit. You feel me? You ain't, yeah. gonna, it ain't, gonna, it ain't gonna come like that no more. Everybody come together, just acting bad like that. You know. So did you stay inside or did you come outside? Um, yeah, I came outside. I was scared at first. Though. I'm like, man, I'm gonna catch that shit on the train. Six, I had to catch the train back. You know. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to catch that shit. Mom, come get me, please. <laughs> See, man, I got, I'm pregnant. I can't come out with that. I'm all right, man. I'm going to get on the train, man. Yeah, so, I mean, <clears throat> so when me and you connected, right, and we, you, we yeah. talked about, you know, working together, <clears throat> and I told you, like, I don't put no guns in my videos, you yeah. know, like, when I told you that, like, what was going through your mind? Because I know, like, you was trying to figure out ways for me to, like, compromise yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. like man but what if it's like this and what if it was like that like, man i can't do it bro and this is before me even knowing anything about you or your background yeah and now that i know about your background more like i'm glad like that that's what we stood on because like uh now i got to know you a little bit better about who you are as a person and i don't want to see you go back so i'm glad like i don't want to be part of me uh putting that any of that stuff around you like i don't want to i don't want to have no parts of that you know what i'm saying but when i told you that what was your uh reaction so when I, when I said that to you? See, me, like, I look at everything on the business side of things. I'm like, I know, it's, it's all about the image. I know what they want to see. This, they want to see the shooting my bang bang shit, you feel me? So I'm like, damn, this they want to see, you feel me? I know once they see the screenshot of the video on YouTube with the guns, everybody going to click on it. So I'm like, damn. I just had to t trust my talent, though. I'm like, man, I'm going to have to just use my imagination and, you know, try to, you know, like, you made me, you forced me, you forced me to, um like, be creative, you feel me? You forced me to be creative. And that's way but I'm glad that happened because that got like the whole new person in me, you know? Yeah, so every video we shoot, you got like, you got like a concept around it, you know what I'm saying? Like you got, you got an idea, of a vision of what that, what, what yeah. that video is gonna look like. And I'm basically just following your lead. It's like you giving me, you giving me the picture and I'm just drawing it, yeah, but yeah. you telling me what to draw, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. so, that's why I like working with you. You know, you come with your props ready, you know, everything. Like, yeah. you got a whole idea. Hey, Dre, you got a baseball bat? Hey, Dre, you got a rope? Because we're going to tie somebody up. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I, that's what I enjoy about working, working with you, man. But another thing about you is you're real passionate about boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, how does that factor in? Like, where did that passion come from? And how did you fit that in, like, with the music and everything else? <clears throat> like you asking where my passion of boxing came from? Yeah. Like what made me fall in love with boxing? All right, so um, I was like a little, I was like, like I got five brothers. Well, at the time I had like, I had like five brothers and sisters. It's like eight of us now. So we always used to be fighting and shit in the neighborhood. And I was messing with this one boy one day. And he was a boxer though, but I ain't know it. <laughs> I'm like 10 years old. <laughs> Stay messing with him, he ain't trying to fight me. I'm chasing his ass up the alley, throwing rocks at him and shit, bottles in there. He just running. I'm dying laughing, chasing him around, terrorizing him all day. So he finally stopped. He like, man, fuck this shit. I'm tired of running for him. So I ran up, try to squad up with him. He bop, 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 bop. I'm damn. He hit me so hard. I went down. I'm like, damn, he hit hard as hell. <laughs> and his mama came out. She mad and said, she woo, woo, woo. Keep fucking my son. He a boxer. He don't be woo, 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 woo. I'm like, he a boxer? I gotta do that. Whatever that was, <laughs> whatever that was, he just did. I want to learn that. In that sense, I just fell in love with the sport of boxing. You think that's been a part of, uh, of you, like staying out of trouble? Yeah, definitely. At the same time, it was like 50-50, man, because I was still like I, I was game banging, and I was still catching cases and shit. But I was still go to the gym. Like I'd be on the block with the guys, and I'd be like, "I'll be back, y'all." Go to the gym two hours, ride my bike up there. No, my little strap or whatever. Then I come right back to the block, take the clothes out, <laughs> right to the block, and I'm back out here again. You feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, I never let the boxing go. Down. It's crazy because, like, I talked to somebody that knows you, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, they ain't even know you rap. Yeah. And they're like, man, he's decent. And, like, I can't even believe, like, that's the same, you know, top. Yeah. And I'm like, what you mean? Like, man, he used to be wild as hell. Yeah. And I'm like, for real? Because, like, I didn't, you know, I didn't know you back then. Yeah. And every time I, you know, you're one of the artists that I actually enjoy working with because you come on business, like you, you focus, uh, you ain't like on no bullshit. Mm -hmm. And so when he's telling me this, I'm like, dang, like man, Top used to be wild as hell, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's, it was like funny for me to hear that because like I didn't, I didn't meet you when you were like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? and that's, that's how all the outside, like the people that's not from my neighborhood, like all the outside people, they be like praising me like, man, Doing some good shit, man, because you was, man, you was something else, boy. I'm like, appreciate it. That's why I get a lot of love from the outside, because everybody that knew me, they're like, man, you was something else, man. So what, what artists, like, influenced you? Like, what, what artists you like listening to when you ain't, you know, vibing to your own stuff? Like, who you listening to right now? 
Man, I listen to Dirk. That's 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 my boy. Dirk, he go he he, he go crazy. And Lil Baby, Lil Baby go crazy too. I fuck with a lot of other rappers, but you know, Dirk, Dirk and Baby, they the ones. They in heavy rotation. They in heavy rotation. <laughs> All right, so what goals you got as an artist, man? Like what you trying to accomplish? Um <clears throat> Right now, what I'm doing, I'm trying to uplift everybody around me, like all my homies and stuff that want to rap and stuff like that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uplift them, and get them rapping. So, like you see, like I piss some of my homies on my songs and stuff like that. I'm just getting them in the atmosphere too, cause I want, I don't want to be the only one that's shining. I want everybody to be shining off their own name. Mm -hmm. I don't want everybody to be shining off top name. You know, be like, oh, that's, that's big top homie. He from, you know, woo woo. Yeah. No, that's that's him. That's him. That's big top. That's him. You know. But, yeah. A lot of your homies. Still, like, and this just based off conversations, based off stuff I've seen, right? Like, mm -hmm. When yeah. we were shooting, like, a lot of your homies, like, uh, you know, when when you when I when when I go to church, the pastor be saying like, everybody's walk is different. Everybody's in a different stage of their walk. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm yeah. already halfway through. Like, I done been through a bunch of bullshit. I mm -hmm. got tired of it. Yeah, but everybody yeah. might just barely be trying to like walk a, a new path, right? So everybody's in the different stage of their walk. Mm -hmm. So how do you balance that? Like, they're your homies, right? But maybe some of them ain't where you're at mentally. Maybe they're <clears> still <throat> with the bullshit. That's how they live in. But you still care about them. But you don't want to get caught up in those shit. So how do you deal with that? Truth be told, though, man. You know, a wise man told me this when I was in the county, man. He was fighting three natural lives. He was a breed. He was a breed from, I think, the village, I think. He was talking to me. He was like, um, he said, hey, little B, man. He, you got something going for yourself. I can see it. You ain't like the rest of these these these, these young cats in here running around. He say, when you get home, the, the biggest downfall is gonna be your guys. He say, cause you got a heart of a lion. He was telling me like I got a heart of a lion. And he say, like I love hearts. So he was like, if if um, he say, if what he say, if somebody he said he said if, if somebody added to what you're doing, then they subtracting. So like, you my homie and I, I love you, but. If I got all y'all on my bandwagon and I'm trying to push everybody, or if I'm pouring water into your cup, who pouring water back into my cup? So I mean, my cup just not getting filled. So at the end of the day, I gotta start taking some people out. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Hey, I love you, but I'll come back for you later or something. But right now, I gotta get it. You know, I gotta start taking the load off my wagon. They just, you know, it's, they, you know, they help me out. So you know, take the load, take the load off my wagon. All right, man. So before we wrap up, man, like, what is like, what's something, what's something that 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 people might not expect about you, like, not know about you, like, you know, anything? Is there anything about you that, like, if if people knew you, like, they would never guess, like, I don't know, you like reading comics or some shit? You know what I'm saying? Is there anything <laughs> like that? Um, damn. I don't know. Like, ask me a question. Like, ask me a question. So like what 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 like what do you do for fun? Shit, you, you, you shit, I don't do nothing, man. I be in the crib. If I ain't in the gym, I'm in the crib just writing raps. But my friends, they they try to pull me out sometimes. You know, I might go go to the bar or something. I don't really don't be drinking and shit. I just be the that shit don't be fun to me. Hey, what I do is I write raps, man, in the crib. I'm just chilling on the phone. With somebody, I'm just I'm just chilling, man. I be in the crib. I be working. I'll That's what's up, man. We're going to stay locked in, bro. We done shot about three videos already. We, we need to shoot about three more. So, man, I'm glad you came through, man. And you want to tell the people like where, where they can find you at on, on social media? My Instagram is on Big Top on the Scope Big Out. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Big Top on the Scope Big Out. You got a YouTube page? Yeah, my YouTube is Big Top. Damn, damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm just telling you my shit to Big Top. You feel? I'm going to take all that shit out, man. My um uh, my my YouTube big op, that's my YouTube big op. Yeah, I mean damn, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fried, <laughs> I'm fried. Y'all can follow me. On, I mean y'all can find me on YouTube at Big Top. All right, Ben, man. Well, I'm glad you came through and, and you know did the interview with me, man. Appreciate you know you coming through. Like I said, we 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 locked in. We are gonna keep working. We are gonna keep it positive, bro. And like I said, man, like just keep moving, spark, man. I think you got you know you know good things ahead of you. Uh, so yeah, man. So thanks for joining us, and we out. Peace. Peace. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna take this off. His old ass left. He left. <laughs> yeah, you even gonna get down? Calm down. Now what you gonna do, man? What the fuck you doing, man? Man, ain't got nothing on me, man. What you doing, nigga? Say, man, what the fuck, man? Opposite.
exist and get found We still do it here out the strike Before your glass till they couldn't sit on my bike Got bitch on me and I still don't like Pass the gang and I bet they fight I feel in the air like Benny Cause I had the toe, I'm flat in the seagull I learn how to ball in the hole Watch my hole come back when you see on this Top of the scene so fresh and clean Guaranteed I be sharper than needles Summer 16, pit that bitch in Sport 4 and them come through for some reason Bustin' my gun, blink down Stand up for a call, sit down Run up our walls With that bag, you better not fumble, tremble or none, cause my killer's hungry. How you that nigga, but not getting money? It ain't funny, nigga, quit stunning. You and your gang, not on none. Yeah, the team be getting shit done. 762, come out with a gun. Come out your gang, wave, no time to run. Fill up his back like doo doo doo. And that form, pull up to the hood. Uh, who won't smoke with us? This shit free, come get a puff. I'll be dissing and rap like that shit weak. Just give it up. Thinking you fuck with me, pull up and test your luck. I